Sylvia, mm. tell us about Australis, the expeditions you do, the experience people can encounter, and the itinerary. Sure. Uh, Charles. Um, Australis has been operating for over 25 years. Uh, we do cruises between Punta Arenas in Chile and Ushuaia in Argentina. Uh, we provide four nights, five days cruises, um, cruising along the fields of Patagonia. Uh, it is an incredible cruise. It's a unique experience because for four nights, five days, there's no internet connection and there is a total immersion uh, with, the, with the nature. So what we do is actually provide a luxury um, alternative uh, to cruising uh, in untouched places. And we are obviously very famous because we are one of the very few cruises who touch upon and land on Cape Horn, which is the end of the world as we know it, um, at the end of um, uh, right of Chile. Uh, what we do is also uh, we provide um, we're part of a, a different kinds of itineraries that you can do along uh, Argentina and Chile. So we are very different from the conventional types of cruises that you can you can encounter in every in any other side of the world. Uh, so what we do it is part of a bigger itinerary that you can do within Chile and Argentina and we can uh, provide the ultimate experience. Uh, we do uh, normally uh, organize wet landings into glaciers or uh, into islands uh, where you can actually get in close contact with Magellan penguins or uh, elephant seals. Uh, we also uh, bring passengers uh, close to um, places that you can not that many people have been to. For example, as I was mentioning before, the same Cape Horn, uh, only just over 800,000 people to this day have actually stepped foot on Cape Horn. So it is ever, 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 ever. So it is actually something pretty amazing. Um, also, places like the beautiful uh, Ulaya Bay, which is actually called in indigenous language Ulaya Bay, uh, we are the only ones actually traveling there and making an excursion there. Uh, the good thing about Australia is that it's actually open uh, to all kinds of passengers, to all ages. Um, because all of these versions that we do uh, uh, are based upon the fact that um, uh, you can be as, um, as, as normal as possible of traveling around the places without having to uh, be extremely fit or doing like extremely uh, strenuous hikes. So we can do either a 10-15 minutes walk on one of our cruises, in our, one of our excursions up to 20 minutes walk, or you can do a two hours uh, trek around the glaciers. It's just really down to the passengers uh, what they feel they yeah. are, are available, they, they are happy to do. When you refer to nature, mm. is it predominantly glaciers and such, or Depending on the season, there's also green vegetation. There's certainly green vegetation. Some of the glaciers that we get to reach, uh, there are along the mountain, at uh, the Darwin Rain uh, mountain range. And over there, obviously, there is plenty of uh, vegetation as well. Sometimes it's a bit reminiscent of the Swiss Alps in a way, although obviously it's a completely different uh, kind of scenery. Um, you do find uh, a lot of different sceneries around and it's just not the glasses. And even within the same type, different glasses, it's always different. You can go and visit the Pia glasses, which is probably the most majestic of them all, which is 250 meters in, uh, in height and 650 meters in length. So it's spectacular. Well, when you see it, to the probably the Gla Aguila Glacier, which is much smaller, uh, which is obviously uh, allows you to get even closer. So even between the same glasses, you've got different sceneries and different ways of actually doing your excursion. Got a stupid question. Mm. 
I know American English and UK British English pronunciations of certain words are different. Yes. In America, we call it glaciers. Mm -hmm. And in UK, you call it glaciers? Yes. Okay. Just wanted to okay. get that differentiation. Um, talk a little bit about the ships. The ship. Now, we currently have the one ship called Stella Australis, uh, which has been sailing for a few years. But the great news is that in January 2018, we'll be introducing a brand new ship called Ventus Australis. It will start operations on the 2nd of January 2018. And the configuration will be the same exactly as the Stella Australis. So we're going to have two sister ships uh, crossing between uh, Punta Arenas and Ushuaia in Argentina. Uh, the configuration is we have 100 cabins for a total capacity of 210 passengers and we obviously do have um, different types of uh, cabins according to which decks um, the cabins are placed and obviously the size of the windows. So there is a small differences in between cabins, but obviously they all provide spectacular views over the glaciers and the, and the scenery at sight. Thank you so much, Sylvia. Thank you.